assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss x.25 network and this is in continuation with the previous lecture learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe key features of x.25 contents in the following slides we will consider frame format packet format and multiplexing in x.25 now let us discuss x.25 frame format first this is figure 1 which shows the x.25 frame format wherein the user data and at packet layer of x.25 a layer 3 header is attached and in the link layer lab b header and lab b trailer is attached to this information this is what the format of the x.25 frame at the beginning there is a flag and also at the end there is a flag in addition to that address of source and destination is added then some control information is added to perform flow and error control of the frames then this is what the information present and in the information there are different uh, data that is i stands for user data s is empty in case of x.25 and u for control data the control data is necessary for controlling flow of information which is used in a in band signaling the address as we discussed there are only two addresses in x.25 because it is a point to point communication address of the source and address of the destination for example here 8 bit address 01 is a command issued by the dt and responds to it as we know in x.25 dt wants to communicate with other dt with the help of a x.25 network which consists of dcs so the dc address 03 is a command issued by the dc and responds to it since it is a point to point communication the communication is established between two dts and the data is transferred now let us go to the packet format of x.25 are broadly divided into two categories that is data packets and control packets control packets are also broadly divided into two categories one is uh, rr rnr reg packets which are used for error and flow control and the other packets are also needed in x.25 for signaling so here data packet is used to send user data whereas control packet is used to perform flow and error control here the question which packet type is used for flow and error control in x.25 you pause the video and answer the question you might have thought over the question and the answer is error and flow control is done with the control packets now let us see in detail x.25 packet format how the error control is done here flow and error control can be done with the help of packets like rr which stands for receive request 
RNR stands for receive not request and REJ stands for reject packets. Then other packets are also necessary for in-band signaling. Here we can see flow and error control is done by using these control packets RR, RNR and REJ whereas other packets are used for in-band signaling. Here flow control is done by using sliding windy protocol and error control is done by using go back n protocol. Some additional information specific to that packet may be added to the packet as shown in this uh, figure 4 and there are two formats for sending this information. One is a 3 byte format and another is a 4 byte format. For example, here this is a 3 byte format which consists of 3 bytes. This is a first byte, second byte and this is third byte. So this, these 3 bytes corresponds to data packet and this one byte, second byte and third byte, this corresponds to control packet and these 3 bytes, 1, 2 and 3 corresponds to these uh, control packets named as RR, RNR and REG. Here we have different uh, bits, Q bit, D bit, then there is a group, channel, here group, group is 4 bit and channel is 8 bit, then PR, PS, these are used for acknowledgement between uh, DTE and DC. There is also M bit. So we will see what is the function of these bits in next slide. This is another format that is 4 byte format. Here this is a first byte, second byte, third byte and fourth byte. These four bytes corresponds to data packet. This is, these four bytes corresponds to control packet and these four bytes corresponds to RR, RNR and REJ packets. So this is a four byte format. Here also the group is four bit, channel is eight bit. So total 12 bits local channel number we can create. Now we will see the function of these bits. Qubit is not used in context of uh, x.25. Here d bit is when d is 0 then it is a uh, flow and error control between dce and dte. So it is a local communication or it is a to control the error between dc and dt and when d equal to 1 then it is used for end to end flow and error control. So when d is equal to 1 then flow control and error control is done between two dts. As we seen 12 bit number of group and channel also called LCN. PR, PS are used for acknowledgement and flow control and M bit is corresponds to also the communication between either DT, DC or DT, DT. So this way we can have different control signals. Now let us go to the another important feature of X.25 that is multiplexing. Over the single DT DC link, as we have already seen, with the help of 12 bits in the packet, there are 12 bits for forming the local channel number, 4 from group and 8 from the channel. So total 4095 virtual circuits can be created, which are used for multiplexing the channel. As 
this x dot 25 speed limit is only 64 kilobits which is very low in context of today's data transfer that's why we shall discuss about faster packet switching network in the next lecture references data communication by professor ajit pal department of computer science and engineering indian institute of technology kharagpur and the contents i have taken from nptel lecture number 24 on x.25 and frame delay the link of the same is given here you can go for further details thank you very much